Hello and welcome to the channel, this is Codefire, your host for this video, and this is gonna be split on three videos. The first one, that is the one you're seeing right now, it's gonna cover the main aspects of the update, uh, like the trucks, and the exploration of the new map is gonna be split in two separate videos. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you won't miss this series. So come with me and let's check it out. We have a brand new splash screen, the intro featuring the new map, that's a light tower, boat, a lot of ice. Because one thing that people keep asking me whenever I show this game, all right, where is the snow? Because they either see me driving in, in Michigan or Tamer, and they always ask, where the hell is the snow? This is no runner. So there it is, now there's no map. All right, so the new map is on the Kola Peninsula. I have no idea if I pronounced it right, I hope I did. It's on Russia and it's on a tundra, so surrounded by freezing cold seas, the Kola Peninsula is one of the northernmost part of the European Russian, although most of it uh, seems to be an endless wall of taiga forests. All right, that's not gonna be good for us. With an occasional river or a sheer cliff, it's unwelcoming facade hides many secrets that attract all kinds of history enthusiasts every year. Even now, yet another expedition to the places of past military glory is in need of capable drivers. Wow, that's imp that's really cool. So we're on this map. We're not like only drilling and harvesting resources. We're kind of exploring some lost history, I guess. I, I think that's quite interesting. So uh, let's take a look. So far, so far we only have Lake Koft, which is uh, the first map. It, of course, it will have a garage, and it's beautiful. All right, that's a super, really beautiful intro. From my understanding of the patch notes, we cannot buy any new trucks. We have to unlock them, I think. Uh, yes, so we will have to do some exploration. First, let, let me see if I can find this new truck first. It's this one, and the does 16 okay so those are the new trucks i have no idea why you're gonna find a ford truck in russia but i take it it is a beautiful beautiful truck let me recover this so i can check its stats okay so it will have three types of engines uh, 4 by 4 liters 5.0 liters uh, not sure if it's bugged, it's probably not working properly because it has a really, really bad power to weight ratio, uh, even with the biggest engine. I don't think this is working as intended. Keep in mind, this is just a work in progress. It has a custom gearbox that already have high gear and low plus and low minus, so that's good. You can fit a crazy race suspension on this. Oh, it's a scout vehicle. All right, I just now noticed. Okay, this is a big ass scout vehicle. Wow. You can fit with the crazy race suspension up to 45 inches wheels. See if the normal race suspension. Okay, actually you don't need, yeah, you don't need the, the super crazy race suspension. So maybe just use the normal suspension. Uh, okay, off-road. It doesn't have mud tires, which is really bummer. However, it has chain, chained wheels. Uh, okay, let's go with the off-road. Yeah, it is higher. I wish it could fit bigger wheels. Uh, okay, it's called maybe autonomous. In terms of frame add-ons, it can have a pickup bed that will include 200 repair parts, 2 spare wheels and 60 fuel. You can have the custom pickup bed that have 400 repair parts, 4 spare wheels and 180 fuel. Wow, so this is the ultimate repair thingy because you probably can pair... Wow. So you can put the custom pickup bed plus the truck repair supplies so you can have a total of 6 wheels and 280 fuels and 400 repair parts. Wow, you can even put the utility mount on it. This is crazy. That, that This truck is so insane. It's 500 repair parts, eight spare wheels, and uh, 230, no, 330 fuel. 
This looks super goofy though, but I guess it is what it is, right? Alternatively, you can fit a flat bed that apparently can only carry one unit of cargo and a loading crane. You can fit a snorkel, you can also have engageable all-wheel drive and it doesn't have a differential, so it's always locked. You have some cool options for exhaust pipes. You have some lights, horns, a capson visor. Oh, nice. Flasher bar. It's cute. You can fit this hunter bumper that it, it is already my favorite. They're gonna just leave it like this. And nothing on the rims. Standard paint. Nothing too fancy other than this uh green and pink one it's probably gonna go on the thumbnail i guess yep that's so gonna go on the thumbnail all right this is probably the ugliest thing i ever see in this game that is not from a mod this is so goofy it's almost looked like a ghostbuster truck yeah they really need to spice the engine up a little bit because it sucks so much it is quite slow i really hope this is a bug all right let's see how much cargo can we carry with the flatbed and with the crane it is a very versatile platform i like this i just wish they boost the power like a lot let me try to manually load just to see how the crane works on this thing. It's a standard truck crane, apparently. The anchors don't work at all. <laughs> and guys, as I said, this is a work in progress. <laughs> and you know, uh, this is not the final version. So keep that in mind. This is just the, the public test server. And there's a lot of room for improvement, of course, clearly. It is not terrible, actually. It could be a good choice for those missions that you only have to deliver a single unit of something. I mean, it's not great, clearly. But it's not bad as well. I still think the, the power weight ratio is a glitch. It should be way higher. On auto gear, it has six gears, so that's a Quite interesting, it cannot maintain 6th gear even on flat paved road though. So it's probably probably gonna be only running it in high gear if you load it. Uh, or maybe not at all. Yeah, th this is 100% not working as intended. Yeah, okay. Whatever. As it is, this truck is completely, absolutely garbage. But I have faith that this is just work in progress and they're gonna make this good, like really good. Now to the T16 Acton. It is a small truck, it's cute, only has two wheels, so it's not gonna be a very strong, powerful truck, but let's see what it can do. It's reasonably fast as a military team. It also has Three engi engines, uh, 60, 195, and, 20, uh, and 210. It doesn't have a lot of power to weight, so it's uh, not sure. Let's see. Can fit the standard off road gearboxes since it's a off road truck. Have race suspension, that's good. Can fit up to 47 inches tires, that's great. That's really, really great. Highway. All terrain, off road, and mud tires. Nice, up to 47 inches. And chained as well. Have all the inches. Have a spare wheel, default, engageable. So it's both switchable, differential lock, and all wheel drive, which is good. Has some quite interesting frame add on options. It has the maintenance frame, a really old school military themed main their frame add on with uh, 500 repair parts, two spare wheels, a small sideboard bed, that's quite unique as well. Okay, so this is sort of a scout truck, kind of, I like this, I like this. 
Also features a unique small fuel carrier with 900 fuel. It can also use a bigger loading crane, which is not compatible with the fuel, but it is compatible with the sidebar bed. And can you have a roof hack, which is, I think is the only truck that can carry a roof rack, if I'm not mistaken. So this is also a very versatile little truck. It has a snorkel, that's good. Some horns, lights, nothing fancy. It do not have the, the fog lights other than on the hack. Okay, fenders. I f also think this is the first time I see fenders. It fits really tight on the wheels and that's not really nice. I'm not going to use it. For bumpers, this bumper is so sexy. The Hunter bumpers are so good, so I'm so gonna use this. I love the look of the cage. And no rims. For paints, they are clearly glitched, I guess, because they're only painting the truck from the inside. I think this is the first time I saw this glitch on the game. <laughs> or maybe this is working as intended. I highly doubt it. Uh, just for the laws, I'm gonna put a pink interior. This is cute. I like I like how they painted the inside. Uh, I hope this was a thing, actually. Also, I would love to paint my cranes and my add-ons, my flatbeds and all. Uh, but, I don't know, this is a cute little truck. Let's see if it can handle itself on mud and all. So, just gonna load it up with some small cargo. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, let me load it up with uh, wooden planks. Because wooden planks are cute and this is a cute little truck. And let's put into some testing. It is not super tilty. I would expect it to be more heavy. A little bit more top heavy than it, than it is. It also lacks power. I'm not sure if maybe I'm used to all those powerful endgame trucks. But this truck lacks a little spicy. And again, this is just work in progress and they're probably gonna tweak all the parameters for those vehicles. Alright, so let's uh, see what this truck can do. Even though it is super glitchy right now, I'm not even sure it was worth testing truly. Uh, I don't know, the wheels are like locking in a weird way and all, but it is a very capable truck. Here I am crossing a very deep water with lots of mud going on here and it's managing. It is, it is moving. I mean, it's, don't expect this to be Vorongrad or something, uh, but it is a cute, decent truck that can be helpful. Especially on co-op mode, this could be very handy, because it's like an upgraded scout vehicle that could be used to help your your friends. With small cargo transportation, maybe those repair add-ons. Uh, I don't know. It is, it is a fun little truck. So, as I said, I'm not going to keep testing this too much, because I'm pretty sure this is just a work in progress. The parameters are most definitely changing and when this thing goes to live server so i think that'll be all for this video specifically i gonna do another video to explore the map make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss that thank you so much for watching and i see you next time